Mississippi has an incarceration crisis. The Magnolia State has the third highest imprisonment rate in the country, 57% higher than other states. The incarceration crisis is driven by extreme prison sentences handed down under laws that allow prosecutors to add years, decades, or even life imprisonment to already long sentences if the person has been convicted of crimes in the past. These habitual penalties in turn add something else, unnecessary costs for taxpayers. In fact, habitual penalties affect everything from whether or not a person goes to prison to the length of their sentence to when they can come home. Today, more than 2,600 people are in prison with a sentence that was extended by one of these laws. Nearly 500 of these people in prison have had their sentences increased to 50 years or longer. Prosecutors can apply habitual penalties to any offense and regularly sentence people to die in prison for minor crimes like shoplifting or possession of drugs. Drug possession should not result in a life sentence, but too often, that is how the law is applied. And these penalties are overwhelmingly levied against black men. Black men are 13% of state residents, but account for 75% of 20 plus year habitual sentences. These extreme sentences are costing Mississippi taxpayers, hurting our economy, and tearing apart families without making us any safer. We all pay for these unfair sentences. It's time to end the use of habitual penalties in Mississippi.